Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to speed up your iOS device. Now if you're not jailbroken, then the only things you can really do are either to delete the applications that you don't use or to just restore your device completely and start fresh. But if you are jailbroken, I'm going to show you how to speed up your device quite substantially for no cost at all and it's pretty easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this quick tutorial, we're going to go into Cydia and add this source, cydia.angelxwin.net. It's a pretty simple repo and all you need to do is add that and you'll be good to go to install the Cydia package. So now we're going to search for iCleaner Pro. Mind you, this isn't the regular version, this is the Pro version because the Pro version is something that the regular one does not. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and install the Pro version from the repo that we've added. That's the most up-to-date iCleaner Pro courtesy of the repo that we just added. Now, surprise, surprise, we're going to actually launch iCleaner Pro. Now, you do have this interface right here where you see your disk usage and you have the option to clean your device. But we're not going to use this, or at least you can use it, but it's not what we're looking for. We're going to be pressing the plus button and we're going to be going into launch daemons. Now, in iOS, launch daemons are essentially background processes, more or less, and there are a bunch of unnecessary ones that you don't really need. So right off the get-go, we're going to go ahead and untick Safe Daemon. So you're going to go ahead and click it so it doesn't show anything. This is automatically supposed to be disabled because this really doesn't do anything important in order to sustain your device, per se. So right there, you've automatically disabled a bunch of background processes that you don't need. So that's pretty nice. Now, there are a bunch of other ones that you may or may not need. I never use Assistive Touch, so I have it disabled. I never use AirPrint, so I have it disabled. So go ahead and disable the ones that you do not need because they just slow down your device in essence. But just go ahead and disable the ones that you don't need. Here are the ones that I have enabled. I probably don't even need this enabled, so I'm going to go ahead and disable that. So here we go. Just disable the ones you don't need. Uh, in my case, I use Accessories, so I have that enabled. Uh, but for the most part, you shouldn't have many of these enabled unless you actually use the services. Uh, of course, alternatively, you can always clean your device with the standard feature that most people download this for, which is cleaning your actual device. But I found that this is actually more handy and helpful, this launch statement feature. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. A big thumbs up would help me out, and it would make me smile. Take care, guys.